Hello everyone and welcome to my Great Nature Hamske deck profile. Thanks to the release of Clan Selection Volume 2, we can finally make a V premium format deck that is mostly Hamskays. This deck primarily focuses on generating as many XL circles as possible in one turn and then rushing down your opponent. So without further ado, let's get started with the deck profile. To start us off, we have four copies of Pencil Hero Hamske. Uh, this is your main gen uh, Excel marker generation. It's got a skill on Vanguard Circle when placed. If you have Pencil Knight Hamske and Pencil Square Hamske in your soul, you can discard two cards from your hand and you get an imaginary gift Excel. You search your deck for up to one Pencil Knight Hamske and Pencil Square Hamske and you call them to rearguard circles and you shuffle your deck. So essentially, when you ride it and you have the grade one and two Hamske in your soul, you're, dis you're getting an Excel marker, you're playing Excel 2, you draw one, you discard two cards from your hand, you get a second Excel 2 marker, you draw another card, and you call grade 1 and 2 Hamscape from your deck to rear guard circle. So while you are discarding, that is okay, because you want to be discarding Hamscapes, and we'll get into that a little bit further, and, call and then thinning your deck by calling out a grade 1 and grade 2 uh, on the field, and then while uh, the your Vanguard is Pencil Hero Hamscape, grade 1 and grade 2 then become uh, 12k bases during your turn. Up next, we play four copies of the new card, Hamske's rival, Jumbo Crayon Hamyan. Uh, this uh, first skill on Vanguard once per turn, counterblast two and discard a card from your hand, search your deck for any number of cards with Hamske in their different card names, call them to your front row, and shuffle your deck. You may be thinking that this is a pretty heavy cost, but it's actually not. With uh, one of the new cards, we can counter charge very, very easily. Additionally, discarding one is not a problem since you would have just drawn one from riding him that turn with Excel 2. Uh, this lets you call out Hamskays from deck. It's important to play as many different Hamskays as possible just because you can fill up your field if you need to. But more importantly, it thins out your deck so you can be hitting your triggers much more frequently. And like I said, you can be returning cards from your drop zone to the bottom of your deck as long as they have Hamsky in their name, so don't worry about calling over your existing units. Now, its second skill is probably the most important. Uh, at, on the Vanguard Circle, at the end of the battle of attack, if your opponent's Vanguard is grade 3 or greater, discard two cards in your hand, reveal the bottom card of your deck, and if that card is Pencil Hero Hamsky, write it as stand, and that unit get drive minus one until the end of turn. So this is essentially allowing you to generate three force markers uh, per turn if you are able to ride this and then go into the grade three Hamske and then pull up off its skill. Um, you do need a lot to discard, but you will draw enough with this deck that that shouldn't be a problem. Finally, our last grade three are two copies of Hamske's rival Rocket Pencil Hamden. Uh, this is just for filling up your soul, but also powering up your units because a lot of the times if you don't, if you don't hit any triggers, you will just be poking, so having its skill is really good. And that says on Vanguard or Rearguard Circle, once per turn, when your other unit is placed on an additional Rearguard Circle, you can counterblast one, put a card from your hand into your soul, and that unit gets plus this and that unit gets plus a thousand power until the end of turn. If you have two more additional Rearguard Circles, you draw a card. In most cases, you will always have the additional Rearguard Circles, and you will be drawing off the skill, but you're also filling up the soul for the few cards that require Soul Blast and also powering up that unit plus something else. So you don't have to worry as much about putting a booster behind it, or you can just call it on an Excel circle. It is once per turn, but it is not named once per turn. So you have two of these out. You can use the skill twice, so long as you have the counterblast and cards in hand. Next up, we have the grade twos. Uh, the first grade two we are running is obviously four copies of Pencil Knight Hamske. Uh, this is needed for the ride chain. If your Vanguard is Pencil Hero Hamske, this unit gets plus 3,000, so it becomes a 12k body during your turn. If you have uh, Pencil Hero Hamske as a Vanguard, um, it also does get that during your opponent's turn as well, because it's a continuous skill as long as your Vanguard is Pencil Hero Hamske, which hopefully at the end of your turn, it always should be. And then on Vanguard Circle, during the battle that attacked, if you're if Pencil Squire Hamsk is in your soul, it gets plus five. So if you have the grade one in soul and you've written this, it does power itself up, which is just a nice bonus. But 
but it's generally the first skill that we care about for this. Next up for grade twos, we play four copies of the new card, Hamskay's Rival, Nail Pencil Ham Goro. It's got a skill on Vanguard or Rearguard Circle, when placed from hand, so it specifically says when placed from hand, so if you call it out with Ham Nyan skill, it's not gonna activate this, but this is still very, very good when placed from hand, so you can counter blast one, look at three cards on top of your deck, reveal up to one card with Hamskay and its card name from among them, put it in your hand, and put the rest in your bottom of your deck in any order. So you're also setting up the bottom of your deck, so you can uh, filter out cards, but you're also getting a free plus one for a counter blast since almost every single card in this deck that is in the trigger uh, has a Hamskay in its name. You mostly want to use this to dig for your grade threes that you need pretty much always as that's the most important cards in your deck, but it can be used to get any other card in a pinch if you need it. And additionally, it's active skill on rearguard circle once per turn if you have a vanguard with Hamskay in its card name, which you always will. Uh, put two cards with Hamskate in their card names from your drop zone to the bottom of your deck and then in any order, and this unit gets plus 3,000 power at the end of the turn. So this sets up your Hamnyan's skill, having Hamskate at the bottom of the deck, allowing you to rewrite it as stand, um, so you can set the Hamskate in the drop zone onto the bottom of the deck if you need to. This also just recycles your Hamskate's card, so with the amount that you're going to be just discarding and calling over, you're going to have a lot of Hamskate's in the drop zone, and just being able to easily put two back so you don't take out is very, very useful as well. And finally, for grade twos, we play four copies of Hamskay's rival, red and blue pencil, Hamhiko. Uh, of course, it's skill when placed, counter blast one, soul blast one, look at two cards on top of your deck, put one card from among them into your drop zone and one card from among them into your hand. Uh, this is just a free plus. It does eat up a soul blast, which is why you want to play Hamden. Uh, it's one of the most... Uh, the, one of the only cards you're going to be soul blasting with, but you, every time you call it, you'll be wanting to use its skill. So it's important to do that as well, which is why we want to fill up the soul as much as possible, because we don't want to be without that ride chain. So having those extra cards in the soul is very, very useful. And then, of course, on Vanguard and Regard Circle, once per turn, when a card is put from the deck into the drop zone, you can have this unit get plus 5,000 power at the end of the turn. It's only going to proc itself from its own skill and nothing else in this deck, which is fine. So whenever you call it out, you proc its skill, it gets plus 5 which can be nice when you call it a full field with Hamnyan, but other than that, it's not a huge deal whether or not you have that power. It can come in useful if you need to like reach over certain numbers, but in most cases, you won't be having that active anyway. Uh, one thing to note is that you can play less of this card if you wanted to put in Culture Gorilla instead to reach that Soul Blast 5 to stand your units. Just note that um, you need to be hitting those front triggers consistently uh, with Gorilla to have that Soul Blast 5, and I find that hitting that Soul Blast 5 while also can, getting the front trigger, while you can thin your deck out pretty well, it's pretty difficult. Um, but some people like to run Culture Gorilla at 1 or 2 uh, just for that strategy, being able to restand and then wipe your opponent's field. If you can get it off, it's pretty great, but it's just too inconsistent for me, so which is why I choose not to include it. Moving on to the grade ones, obviously we play four copies of Pencil Squire Hamske. Uh, if your Vanguard is Pencil Hero Hamske, it gets plus four, so it becomes a 12k body as long as you have Pencil Hero Hamske as your Vanguard. And then auto on Rearguard Circle at the end of your turn, you can Soul Blast one, put this into your soul, and then search your deck for up to one Pencil Knight Hamske, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. So if you don't get to ride this card, like you, for example, you're going... Uh, first and you miss it um, and you have to ride something else uh, once it's called out on the rearguard circle it can put itself into the soul so you won't be able to miss that ride chain um, obviously you want to be riding this but in case you don't you can put this back into your soul by the time you need to uh, ride uh, Hamske with Hamnyan's skill so it can be in there Moving on to the next grade one, we have four copies of another new card, Hamskay's Teacher, Fountain Pen, Ham Yuki. This is another ideal ride target because essentially it says when placed on Vanguard Circle, you can just cut a card from your hand, search your deck for one pencil square Hamskay, call it to Rearguard Circle, and shuffle your deck. So if you ride this, you just use its skill and you guarantee that the grade one Hamskay is going to be in your soul. And then when the grade one Hamskay goes into your soul, you can search your deck for the grade two. So you're going to be guaranteed the grade two if you don't have it in the hand. So it's incredibly useful. 
and essentially lets you have uh, eight chances to get the grade one in Soul, or to find the grade one, so you can have a more consistent uh, Hamske rad chain and pop off every single turn. And by far its most important skill is on Rear Circle, once per turn, if you have a Vanguard with Hamske in its card name, you can put two cards with, Ham with Hamske in their card names in the drop zone to the bottom of your deck in any order and counter charge one. Again, this is once per turn, but it's not named once per turn. So if you have all four of these out on the field, you can be counter charging four times. So while there is a lot of counter blast in this deck, this deck also can counter charge really, really easily. So usually I save my returning Hamskes to the bottom of the deck for this card first and foremost. And if I have any extras, I'll use other skills that return Hamskes to the bottom of the deck. But usually I always want to be counter charging so I can counter blast as much as possible next turn. Next up on grade ones, we play two copies of Diligent Assisting, Assistant Mini Belly. Uh, some lists play three, some lists play four even. Uh, I find that usually you can hit a grade three with our 10 count and also using Hemgoro's skill to search top three when you play from hand. Uh, so I only think that two is pretty necessary in the way that I built this deck. You can, again, cut out a Hamhiko, you can cut out a Hamden to play three or four if that's up, if that's what you want to play, but I find that two is okay enough. And then, of course, um, during your turn, if you have an additional unit on a rear guard on an additional rear guard circle, it gets plus five, so it becomes a 13k booster or attacker if you need it to be that. Just useful to have, but again, we only play two. And lastly, for grade ones, we play one copy of Hamskate's classmate, Pass the Little Marker, Hamna. When placed, you can soul bust one, put a grade two or less card from your hand into your soul, and draw a card. So this is just an emergency. I didn't get my grade two Hamskate in the soul. I need to put it in right now. Uh, you can just soul bust one for the cost. And then it's in the soul. It's like the only way to really get the grade two in the soul if you misride it, unfortunately. Um, it's also a free draw, which is nice. We only really want to run one uh, just because we don't have room for it any other way. You will see other lists that kind of shift the numbers a bit and some play less of the newer cards um, so that they can fit more of these just for the draw and the ability to put the proper hamskies in the soul. But I find that one is just fine. You usually don't need to use it as you play, but just in case of emergencies. Now, moving on to the trigger lineup, we're playing eight front triggers. Uh, this is pretty standard. Some people like to play a little bit more crits. Uh, some people like to add in draws as well. I find that eight fronts is usually the best because you, you want to be hitting those fronts as much as possible when your front row is full, just so you can hit better numbers and hit over those 13K uh, force units. Uh, so it's always good to be running as many front triggers as possible. I considered running 10 front triggers and taking out the two grade three searchers and replacing them with grade one sentinels. Uh, but for consistency reasons, I wanted to have at least two of them in there. So unfortunately that didn't work. But if you wanted to go a little bit nuts with it, then you can play 10 fronts. Moving on to heals, obviously we play four heals. That's pretty standard. Uh, nothing else to say there. As for Sentinels, I actually play two Crit Sentinels and two Drop EGs. Uh, some people will play four Crit Sentinels. I find that just having the PG can always be useful because you never know what you're going to face. And then the Crit Sentinel is obviously good for the extra pressure um, just because you will be drawing a lot. But also the draw power from the Drop EG can help you when you need those extra cards to even just be able to discard the proper Hamskays into this drop zone when you use it, but also just to have them in hand when needed. And obviously, lastly, we have one Blackboard Parrot. You can really use any starter. This is what I had on hand. You can see it's still the old version of the card. It doesn't have the errata on it. Um, any V starter will do. They're all pretty much the same. It's just what I had. Anyways, that's it for the Great Nature Hamske V Premium deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any comments, leave them down below. And thank you very much for watching.